1992, when we did Rio, was a very special year. It was a year in which the Cold War had ended. Uh, the uh, whole atmosphere was of the world coming together to resolve problems. First, I think it is uh, important to think about how much the Rio conference itself, 20 years ago, in fact achieved. Uh, it is, um, you know, exceptional in uh, international relations that a summit like that both decides on, the, uh, on a climate convention and a biodiversity convention and an Agenda 21. People were excited. We had more NGOs there in Rio than had ever assembled before. Uh, we had more heads of government, pre pre presidents, prime ministers, uh, as I said, a couple of kings, uh, 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 than had ever assembled at any conference. The important thing is that we got agreement beyond what anybody thought was possible. At the end of the original Rio, somebody asked Morris Strong, uh, how many world leaders came to Rio? And Morris Strong's reply was, well, a hundred plus presidents and prime ministers came. How many of them were leaders? I don't know. The problem has been what happened afterwards, which is not enough. We've made some progress on awareness. Uh, Twenty years ago, uh, no one was talking about uh, the need to make development more sustainable. Now just about everybody is. Uh, but as far as action is concerned, uh, the sad fact is that the, uh, the unsustainable trends that prompted the United Nations to call for the establishment of a special commission in 1983 uh, have grown steadily worse and they've now reached dangerous levels. I don't think we have made the necessary progress. In 20 years, I would have loved to see much more being done, more uh, results, more concrete um, products of what we proposed in Rio 20 years ago. We wanted to have uh, much more response from governments at the national level, at the local level, and also at the international level, and we haven't had enough of that. I think we have moved ahead um, with more vision, maybe, and commitment on the part of uh, the civil society groups and the business sectors, but um, definitely not enough. I think what is remarkable is that the degree of innovation, new technologies, new policies, experimentation that has occurred at the international level in national policy domains but also at the level of businesses and municipalities, local governments, has actually been remarkable. However, if you take a balance sheet approach, I think what is striking and what we have to confront as we move towards Rio Plus 20 is that we have not been able to scale up these responses.